Hi, I'm Dr. Jason Wagner, and thanks for joining us for another Whiteboard Wednesday. So here's our sort of vascular specialist. We see a lot of patients with leg ulcers, and an ulceration is a breakdown in the skin. You know, could you see a superficial breakdown at the skin, you know, in the lower leg above the ankle, or it could be a deeper wound where actually bone or muscle are exposed. And if someone has really bad long-standing leg swelling, this could be a sign that they have what's called a venous ulceration. So much pressure built up from veins not doing their job or not letting blood get out of the leg, the leg has swollen to the point where the skin itself is starting to break down and can't repair itself. Often these come on spontaneously or as a result of a small tiny little injury, a nick, a scrape, you bonk it on the side of a bedpost and it's just failing to heal and then the wound keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger or you get a small nick and then you have a little bit of clear fluid that's leaking out of your swollen leg and then that gets infected and you have an infected ulceration. If you think of, you know, kind of like water balloons, you're going to have the most of this happening at the most dependent areas. So if you take a water balloon and you hold it up by the knot, it's going to be skinny at the top and wide at the bottom. Well, the same thing starts to happen in our legs because all that fluid that's in your leg starts to settle down towards the ankle. So you're going to have the highest area of pressure down here. And so when your skin is under so much tension like that, it does a couple things. The first is there are these little nerve endings that are in our skin that are under constant stretch. So you have this kind of chronic heaviness, burning, aching, maybe, you know, itching feeling. Then as the tension's there, if you had a, a nick or a cut and it's not healing, that's because it's under, you know, kind of constant stretch. So it's kind of like someone's trying to build a bridge across, you know, like a fault line or across a river and the shores keep getting farther apart. So if you're trying to build a bridge together, but the ground keeps moving further apart, it's never really going to heal. You're never really going to be able to get that connection across. What we need to do is figure out whatever the cause is that's, you know, causing the leg to be swollen. So if it's bad acting vein valves from a vein you don't need and we can shut it down, so be it. If it's because of a blockage higher up in the veins and we can open it up to decompress the outflow to make it easier to get the blood out of your leg so that it's not as waterlogged or swollen. But the most important thing we need to do is get you into some form of compression because you know just like i was saying where everything's being pulled apart with that wall tension if we can put you in a compression stocking or some sort of compression bandage we can wrap it from the outside and give it a hug and hold it closer together to take that tension off the wall of the skin in summary when it comes to a leg ulcer and we think it's a venous ulcer things we worry about are swelling skin stretch bad acting veins and being the vein valves or an outflow blockage. And the primary ways we're gonna manage this is first with a compression dressing and then good wound care. And then also checking to see what kind of things we can intervene on or fix to get rid of the problem, help your legs heal up faster and hopefully prevent an ulcer from forming again. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I'm Dr. Jason Wagner with Sarasota Vascular Specialist, and this is another Whiteboard Wednesday. Thank you.